The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Please, can you control your rats? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation. Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, be what? Only city leader! Extra-terrestrial gravity! <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, oh, I swear! I don't have anything! If I did, I'd give it to you! My people sick and dying. You tell me something! Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Mirage, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package man. No, no, no please don't. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. No messages. I'm in demand. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Maggie, come here, girl. Your floor number, please.
McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Drive test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now I thought about me. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. I'd seen more, and now I thought about you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Disgusting. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. I checked with you and air. Looks your Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over. Howie Lees. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at.
Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff yeah, mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay, how do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Laboratory. Lockup. I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. Mainframe and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny.
Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. <laughs> I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that.
Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. The shell casings from Runcet about 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravation. Big caliber, possibly. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. The earring was shaped like an... Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that Kingston kitchen. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish, fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, Dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks, I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects, official LPD business. Ah, down at end of Animal Row, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Hey, you. This your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subterra. Dragonfly, late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Uh, item like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Might I interest you in a snack, noble one? Not today, thanks. Do you know anything about insects? I regret that I do not, noble one, save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. 
They all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishko walk without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Hey, get lost. We both got work to do. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. Excuse me. You got anything that's a match for these? I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? Ezo. How about off-world assault weapons? You got anything that's a match for these? I don't deal in anything from the off-world. Much too hard to authenticate. A man of your expertise could probably tell, though. I don't even like to have them in here. My friend Shoshana Yuri picked up the Eos Plague from some gunner's space helmet. He was vomiting blood for days. What are you doing here, Slim? Hey. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim?
Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cook you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Dollar. Yeah, let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine-looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty ginion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. Thanks for your time. Had a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Where it is, he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff? Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere, if you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. I hear you've been waving guns around on Anamoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap, that lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook, Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chin yen. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. I heard of you. Is that right? You ain't done much. I just got assigned. Guys like you get hurt real easy. Meaning what, exactly? It ain't like you're a real Blade Runner. Not like Steel or Gaff. They get hurt sometimes, too. It's a dangerous business. You sell any off-world stuff, like Ender rifles? Nah, I ain't seen anything like that in years. Wish I had one, though. The Endo was a real workhorse. Good stopping power. Decent rate of fire. You looking? Gonna cost you a bundle, I'm afraid. Not really. Somebody shot up Runciter's shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Why's that? Runciter's always putting on those airs like he's better than everybody else. But he'll do anything for a buck. Sell anything to anybody. That's where I draw the line. If it's suspicious, 
It's out of here. Got no place at Bullet Bob's. You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is? Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. How'd you feel about taking a little test? You mean the Voight Kampf? You come into my shop and you want to VK me? Relax, I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You thinking I'm a rep. Set up the test. We'll see what's what around here. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, 4th Sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. You're crying. Why is that? What kind of candy-ass question is that? It's meant to provoke a reaction. Reaction, huh? Well, I ain't crying. Next question! A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. Yeah, I remember that, bitch. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. Good for him. You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. The poor little guys. That's the army for you. Chew you up and spit you out. You know what I mean? You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. No, they'd better think about what they did to deserve it. Because they'll slip and I'll be ready. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I want a hamster. Well, it's a fish. She better damn well get me what I want. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. <laughs> I guess I picked the right line of work. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. Flowers? So what? It's illegal to pick them. Flowers aren't like soya. They're endangered. They need sunlight, fresh air. They ain't gonna get it around here. I think they're all gone anyway. You seen a single goddamn flower in the last 10 years? Yeah. Once. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Must be the stuffed animals again. Yeah, they're freaky. They're like animals. But they got stuff in them. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is 
big game hunting in Zaire. I'd burn the book. Let me finish. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead Cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. So this is how this test goes, huh? You asking me sick questions. It's designed to provoke you. Is that right? Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered OK. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. Thanks for your time. Jesus. How many illegal automatic weapons move through here? Automatic weapons hold little mystique for me. That's why I don't sell them. Then what are those things in your back room there? Semi-automatic. Big difference. There was a time when men operated with a code of honor. Guns and rifles weren't necessary. The very presence of a sword was enough to ensure stability. Well, times have changed. You say everything's top quality here. Now go for your old buddy Spencer Gregorian, too? I met him a while back. He bought some calfskin gloves from me. Said he wanted to do some gardening. Calfskin? Faux calfskin. Gregorian said you were thrown out of cars for having violent tendencies. Whoever Gregorian is, he's lying. He also said you were a borderline sociopath who ought to be locked up. But I'm inclined to agree. Don't you wish I gave a damn about what you think? I can make you give a damn. <laughs> Let me give you a little word of advice, detective. Stay out of my business. More importantly, stay out of my face. All I'd have to do is make one bid call and you would be shoveling shit off world for the rest of your career. Talk to me like that some more and you'll be eating it. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished item. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? World rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police issue restricted weaponry. Izo wasn't some small time fence, but a big time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Nothing else there.
That's impossible. I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, Detective. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is... will. Move it! I've been tracking Izo for a week and you ruined my whole plan in two seconds. Sorry. I bet you can still catch him if you want. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you wanted him to get away. You crazy? I've been tailing him myself. Little word of advice, Slim. Stay out of my way. Next time I'm not gonna worry about who's in my line of fire, understand? Hey. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? Thanks for your time. Careful, senor. They are poison. Scorpions? See? Si? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchased one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that'd be too, senor. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly. But you talk me to it. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Thanks for your time. I was fresh out of Leeds. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendollar murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell's security to protect them. Ground floor. Ground floor. Mainframe and shooting range. During his last election campaign, Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city, the so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We spoke to the governor just before his weekly meeting with the city council. Our studies have shown that the Kipple's effect upon Los Angeles is minor. The radiation and toxic waste is contained in relatively small pockets, all miles distant from the city center. Nevertheless, Cleaning things up out there is a worthwhile goal, especially with the thousands of specials living on the city fringes. For now, 
All I can say is that we're looking at several options, and I'm sure everyone will be pleasantly surprised by our final proposal. Hawker's Circle. A strange scale. Give me a hard copy of that. China Bar. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Mainframe and shooting range. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me. Especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the... Lock up. Roof.
You got any discs from that camera? I just served drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. Nice bracelet, tough guy. Who's Maggie, your mommy? She's a dog. So is my wife, but I sure as I don't brag about it. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Thanks for your time. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Frame and shooting range. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. China Bar. Goza? Give me a hard copy of that. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it most of the employees they see coming in morning and night. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stand. There were off-world right- Positive risk. Most of the impl- See? I know Soptera. Kingston Kitchens. The 
dog collar has a- This is Crystal- Why aren't you out arresting- This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell Manufacturing Plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. What Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I. I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause? Spencer? Yes, sir. We're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care- Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. What do you do for a living? I teach political science. What's your name? Spencer Gregorian. I really think my lawyer should be here. Just keep your pants on, Spencer. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I donated to a family that couldn't afford an animal. Describe in single words 
only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Patient, brave, loving. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I'm not answering that. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. And let me guess, pictures of dead animals inside. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. These questions are becoming predictable, detective. Your child comes home with a black eye. I call the school. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. Well, it sounds like I deserved it. But my father didn't believe in corporal punishment. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death, the grave, rot. You're enjoying this. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This conversation is over, Detective. I don't have to sit here and take abuse. Test terminated. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me. Laboratory. What you want? I'm busy. Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, I got a couple of questions. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You not take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaler is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, come. What you want? You were close to Eisendaler? Eisendaler? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaler tests off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Marcus is dead. To work hard all night, all day, no stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? Your time more important, huh? Eisendaler dead. Moraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts. Moraji? You eat supper with Moraji every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Moraji didn't show. Did you call him? A call? I knocked. Ten minutes ago, door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing, nothing. Tell me this. Hey, wait, LPD, you there for something, huh, LPD? I'm very busy. I just won't wait for nothing. Tell me this. Hey, wait, LPD, you there? I'm very busy. I just won't wait for nothing.
Hey, pal. What's shaking, baby? Haven't I seen you around these parts before? Could be. I get around. If you ever get down to Nightclub Row, you ought to check out my act. I'm just warming up the room, but it's better than a kick in the pants, you dig? What kind of stuff do you do? What kind of... You kidding, baby? I do it all! I am the direct extension of Frankie, Sammy D, and Dino Martini. Who? Man, you really must be dozing in Squaresville if you're asking who the voice is. You know, old Blue Eyes. The chairman of the board? Sinatra, man. The guy's been dead for 20 years. Well, you're gonna remember the name Gordo Frizz just like old Blue Eyes. I ain't on the marquee of Early's just yet. But it's coming, I promise ya. You seen any suspicious looking people around here? Hell no. I mean, a lot of wackos cool their heels down here. But they're anything but suspicious. Excuse me, pal. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Run! Run! Hold on. An ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins. Up, up there. Up the stairs. The twins? Did they do this? No. Tall man with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, another with beard. Piercing eyes. What did they want? DNA information. Don't. God forgive me. I told them. Told them about the twins. Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep D Tech, BR61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here. Victim of an explosion. His name is, uh, was Miraji. He was able to give me a description of the two perps just before he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs? Or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Appreciate it. This is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism. The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. He kept the charge small enough to leave the wall standing. If he just wanted to take out Miraji, this was overkill. If my instincts were right, he was the same joker who lit up the Tyrell building. Dangerous, but still an amateur. Locked. No way through here. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one saved voice-only message. 
Would you like to hear the safe message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's J.F. Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell. I've gotten all I can from that. Hmm. Hmm. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. Listen to me. Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. Distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises on the street. Beep, beep, bong, bong, bong. Always make me rub eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? Huh? What? What of Marathi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. <sighs> you mentioned twins. Yes, yes! Luther and Lance. Siamese twins. Live about Mirage. They're genetic designers? Were. <laughs> Till last month. Got the boot. Shit can. From who? Big boss. Who else? Hey, and if I tell you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> He's funny, though. Like old movies. Miraji, master chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. You walk down the alley, you find it. What about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like Luther, only different. Don't know which which. That so? One long hair, talk a lot. Always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. What kind of deals? Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. Like salesman. <laughs> Very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runsetter? Who? Never heard of Runsetter. No time for charades. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, uh, all. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Ground floor, mainframe, and shooting range.
ground floor. The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. He kept the charge small enough to leave the wall standing if he just wanted to take out Mar- Of course I hear you! You think I'm deaf? You're a time more important. No! Tall man with dreadlocks, the bomber, and a, another with beard, piercing eyes, the TNA information. Took. There's one other guy. Describe them to. There were off world rifles here and more grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police issue rest. The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. He kept. Hello, it's JF Sebastian. Of course I hear you. You think I'm. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of Chinyan inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. No. Tall man with. <laughs> Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. I'm in demand. During his last election campaign, Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city, the so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We sp Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. 